My name is Darshan Sukumar, and this is my racing robots project using LabVIEW Maker Hub links, the Chipkit WF32, and the Leap Motion Controller. Check it out. Eat it! <laughs> and I wanted to go over the LabVIEW code for our racing robots. And so this is using uh, Sam Christoph's library on LabVIEW Maker Hub. This top while loop right here is where we collect data from the Leap motion controller. And then this bottom while loop is where we actually write uh, pulse wave modulation to the motors using links. So basically how this works is we're using the Leap motion controller. This is just initializing the Leap motion controller and then we read two hand positions in hands, but we're reading two. We're using a for loop to break apart all the information and just get the Y values for each hand. Then we are converting those Y value arrays into a cluster to display on a waveform chart on the front panel. So here you can see our waveform chart. And then we're also indexing those two or that array to get one hand's position information and the other hand's position information. So then we're using the uh, peak detector point by point. So this has a width of three and basically what it does is it will return a true if it detects a peak and it'll return a true for this if it detects a valley. We OR those together, convert those to a one and a zero and then use our mean value here with 100 samples to get the mean that we want to use. Then it sends these mean values to this while loop. And in this while loop, we divide by 0.4. We came up with this because this was the um, like highest mean value that we received, waving our hands over the motion controller. Uh, we coerce those to one or zero just to make sure that we don't write a pulse wave modulation value higher or lower than those. Um, and then we write our right and left pulse wave modulations into the duty cycles block. Um, and then the same thing with the other microcontroller. Uh, we're using the chipkit WF32. One issue we had was it wasn't driving straight. So to fix that, we multiplied um, on the first WF32, we multiplied the pulse wave modulation value on the left wheel, the left wheel is this bottom line, uh, by 0.86 just to slow it down a little bit. And then for the right wheel, we changed or we multiply it by 0.897. That helped it drive straight. We have a shared variable here, so when we press the stop button on the front panel, it'll stop this while loop and it'll also stop the second while loop. Then at the end, we write zero pulse wave modulation values to our set duty cycle uh, and close links here. This digital write in channels, what this does is sets the direction of the motor. So we want one motor forward and one motor backward since they're facing two different directions. Um, and we want to do that for both microcontrollers. I'll show you the front panel one more time. We're using the built-in Wi-Fi on the chipkit WF32. So these are just setting up those connections. Here's our waveform chart so you can see your hand position when you wave it over the leap motion controller. And then we display our loop rate. That's the loop rate from our leap while loop. And then our two pulse wave modulation values that we're actually writing to the motors. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh. 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 Eat it! <laughs> <laughs>